The two New Zealand companies, Kokako Coffee Roasters and John Burton Coffee Traders, visited Leh yesterday to test Union Koi Coffee from Wasu in Finchifan District, Morobe, and Nanuma Coffee from Daga in Milan Bay Province. Kokako Coffee Roaster imports PNG coffee through John Burton Limited, the biggest green bean importer in New Zealand. The company's managing director, Mike Murphy, told MTV News in Lay that their relationship with PNG through coffee began eight years ago. So we buy coffee from um, Hoak and Unankoit in Papua New Guinea, but we also buy coffee from Ethiopia, from Colombia, from Honduras. Um, but Papua New Guinea coffee is by far the largest amount of coffee that we buy. Murphy and his team visited Union Coit Cooperative in Wasu, Finchafen District. They stayed there for four days to see the challenges faced by the coffee farmers before returning to Lay on Monday. Um, we have just uh, travelled from Wasu um, through to Kaboom and on to Dirham um, here in Morobi province. And um, the roads were extremely challenging. We're obviously in your famous Toyota Land Cruiser that everyone seems to drive here. Um, and we were on limestone roads and those roads were in very poor condition. So that's just us travelling to meet the farmers. If you turn that around and you consider the challenge of bringing your parchment to market and then getting that to, um, getting that to consumers, um, the farmers are working incredibly hard to bring their coffee to market. These overseas companies came to know the coffee farmers and cooperative from the isolated areas in PNG through Fair Trade Australia and New Zealand in PNG. They help the cooperative become fair trade certified that will assist them gain better access to the coffee market, improve production and the quality of beans. There are currently nine cooperatives under fair trade, six are certified and three are yet to be certified. Fair trade is like the glue that keeps everyone together. And the way we do that is through a set of uh, international best practice, if you like. That garden management is going to be done properly, uh, coffee work has to be done properly in conjunction, in harmony with the environment, that uh, we do this in a human rights uh, way approach, so gender equality, children's rights, um, and also um, issues around good governance. Uh, Farmers and cooperatives now have access to market that produce overseas through Fair Trade Australia and New Zealand. Agma Coffee in Lay is the main exporter of the coffee cooperative certified under Fair Trade. Currently we're working with Unen Coit Fair Trade. Um, We've exported around five containers already of Union Coit Fair Trade. Um, that's from January till this month, and we're looking at probably two or three more containers before the end of the year. Now we're in the great Union Coit cooperative. Now, now we're plenty of farmers have come inside. Now some of our exporters have the deal one time, like Eggmark. Now the deal one time, so they export coffee go out. Then my cooperative is one of that last in pre-applicant that is involving right now. has been beginning to bring this coffee out to expose to the market with the assistance of fair trade. And we are getting now to known by other companies in New Zealand. And today is a very fortunate that we have come here to bring the sample for 2018 coffee to sample it out. Julie Badui Owa, National MTV News, Lake.